This is Teresa from Del Posh Jewelry Line and Art. I'm going to jump right into this painting. And we're going to start with just adding some black. We're not using a lot of paint. And now I'm just going to mix a little bit of white, which makes it a little bit grayer. And I'm just lightly stroking the top of the canvas. Now we're going to smooth it out, add some white, add some little bit of red, and this will make it look a little bit pink. Blend that. We're going to add a little bit more red without cleaning the brush. It gets a little bit darker. We're going to add some black. Still not cleaning the brush. The canvas would sit still. <laughs> Add some more. There we go. That's better. You can do the edges while your paintbrush is wet. Now we just I'm just gently taking the, the very tip of my brush and going lightly over the canvas. Don't want to do this too many times because it'll start to look like mud. And make your painting look like you want it to look. I'm not even trying to make it look identical to this. I'm making mine a little bit lighter. Now we need to do the center. You see how it's off angled just a little bit. So I'm just going in with the white. And I did clean my brush for this one. So, I need to make it more defined. So, I think I need a little bit more white. Yeah, a little bit more white. And that should do it. Awesome. Make sure I blend my colors. There we go. Looking good. Nice. Okay. A little bit more. There we go. Now let's add the heart. I'm using a thin brush just to trace the heart. Then I'm going to switch to a little bit thicker brush after I trace this out. There we go. Now try to fill in the heart. Just using red right now. And I'm taking my time so I don't make the edges look wonky. <laughs> there we go. And along the edge. I'm going slow because I'm trying not to go outside the line. You see how that's turning pink on that one side? I didn't let the back of the canvas dry first, which I should have, so don't do what I did. <laughs> when you get done with the back of your um, background, background, let it dry before you attempt to paint the heart. So you see that I added some black, and I, but it wasn't just black. I added some black and red together and put it in there. Now I'm just adding red so you can see it's still turning pink because it's mixing with that white underneath because the paint is wet in the background but it's still pretty there we go you can use any colors you want you can make any color heart that you want like mine's pinky right now and partly red you can leave it that way if you like still looking pretty good I'm trying to add more red to the top of it but there's just too much paint on there now and it's like I said it's the background is wet mixing with the white
I think I better leave it alone. Let it dry a little bit and move on to working with the lines. So we're going to add some lines and some swirls and start from the top start in where you like and the lines are going to come out lighter because the background being still wet but I will trace back over these after we get the lines in no two paintings are going to look alike I don't want mine to look identical to that one I want to make it my own creation but similar I just add a line wherever I feel like there's an empty space and trace back over it if I don't get it completely smooth or straight and so I'm going to work on that for a little bit just adding more lines or making it darker well actually not darker lighter because I'm using the white <laughs> have fun with it this is something you could do with your your kids because it's easy enough you just have fun and we're only using three colors we're using the titanium white the black and I believe that's barn red that I'm using and then I just mix colors to get some different effects and it's an 8 by 10 canvas I'm using I'm trying to make the lines a little bit darker or more defined but you don't even have to make your lines and your swirls white use a different color if you like we'll work on this very nice there we go well that shows up better I will retrace these to make them more defined yeah. where should we put a line next I see an empty spot in the canvas really starting to shape up and never judge a painting while you're still working on it wait till it's done and even completely dry because it looks different and I'm bad for doing that oh no, no that's not right oh I don't like it until it's completely done and then I fall in love with it going oh it's not so bad just have fun painting is supposed to be fun and relaxing and I love doing this if you guys do this project I would love to see your paintings after they're finished so please post them so I can see them please share please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can get a notice when I do something new a new painting and I also make jewelry so I'll do some how-to jewelry making also just trying to make those white lines show up a little bit better again because I didn't let the background dry but I know you're gonna let yours dry a little bit better so you, it doesn't take as long you see me holding my arm that's to keep it steady if you have the shakes and it also helps not touch against the canvas I just perch my arm up with my hand 
and it helps to keep my arm steady. See? Yeah. And away from the canvas. I am a messy painter. I think it's more fun when you walk away and you got paint all over your hands and your face. If you're anything like me, there's paint everywhere. If you see I have a apron on. It's my Christmas apron on. Because I know I'm going to get paint all over me. This is really starting to shape up. Awesome. I'm liking this. This would make a great gift for Valentine's Day. And your kids would be proud to give this away. There we go. Awesome. I'm loving this. This is the first time I've ever painted this painting. So let's learn together. I think we've done enough with the white. But put as many lines as you want. And I'm switching to a thinner brush to work with the black and do the black swirls and lines. So just want each side to have its own personality and look a little bit different. So again you can see me hold my arm to keep it steady. Keep It also keeps the brush really steady. And that's just straight up black. We don't have much more to do before we finish with this. Let me know what you think. If you like this and you'd like to see me do more, do more videos. Or what kind of videos you'd like to see. Or some jewelry making. What would you like to see? This is so pretty. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Isn't this gorgeous? Awesome. This is turning out just absolutely wonderful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And more to come. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's work on the inside of the heart a little bit. It had a chance to dry a little bit, but it's still quite a bit of paint in there. But I want to give that heart a little bit more definition. So I'll mix some red and black together and trace the inside of the heart around the edges, but not too close. Because I want a little bit darker on the edges. And then we'll make the center a little bit um, more red. We'll blend the colors. And I'm going slow. Because I don't want to go into, or should I say, go out of the heart and mess up the rest of the painting that we worked so hard on. Very nice. We'll do some more to the other side. Just like we did to this side. Again, I'm not using just black. I'm mixing the black and red. It looks like it's just black, but it's not. Go now, connect it. And after I get these black lines in, then I'll add the red and then trace along what we just did. Next step, I'm just picking up the red, I'm just adding red to it now, but I didn't clean my brush. Because we're going to end up blending the red and black together. 
you see I'm kind of going into the black a little bit because I'm trying to pick up that black also on my brush but I'm not trying to completely get rid of it I don't want to completely cover over it Isn't that turning out nice? That's deeper and darker. And see how there's different steps and stages of the color of the heart? And just kind of like painting one heart inside the other heart and filling in the spots. Now we're going to add some red, I mean some white to get this smoothed out. Here's the white. We're going to blend this too and then add some more white. Just gives it different effects. You don't have to do yours just like this one. There we go. I like that. Looks pretty good. Hope you enjoyed this video.